and what's going on with all my money motivated stars. Now this video is gonna be a video I'm supposed to be reported on. I've been I'm supposed to been talked about. It was about Lil Reese. If you don't know who Lil Reese is, he a Chicago uh, drill rapper who came up with Chief Keef, you know what I mean? And Glow Gang, the Glory Boys, y'all probably know him. They came, they blew up like back in 2012, but he, you know, he, Lil Reese is receiving a lot of backlash because he was caught, he was uh, seen with a group of people, you know what I mean? And I don't know if he did it or somebody who was with him poured some water or some liquor on top of a man that was sleeping outside, you know what I mean? But it's the fact that he was laughing, even if he didn't do it, it's the fact that he was laughing and he's on camera with the people who did it, you know what I mean? Not trying to say, bro, it's wrong or whatnot, you know what I mean? Because they saying, some people saying he was a homeless guy, some people saying he was just somebody who's, he was a wino, you know what I mean? Neighborhood wino who probably just got drunk and went to sleep. You know, it's, it's plenty of people that do stuff like that, you know what I mean? They actually have homes, but sometimes they just let their bottle get the best of them, you know what I mean? This this what they put in our hood. They put in our they put in our hood. The liquor stores and all that. Not saying that you gotta indulge in all that, but all this stuff just by design. But getting back on topic, I feel like man, I feel like social media is keeping a lot of older guys or people who's trying to develop. I feel like it's keeping them in an immature state of mind. You know what I mean? Before social media, people was like this, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to give social media 100%. I'm going to give it. And to this generation, I'm going to give it 80% of why people are not growing up because they constantly watching other people's lives. A lot of these dudes like Lil Reese, they grew up doing a lot of reckless stuff and people praised them for that, you know what I mean? But what these people are not realizing is people looking at you as you grown now, you know what I mean? Chief Keith came out when he was 16. Lil Reese was probably with him. I think he was older than Chief Keith, probably 18 or 19. All this stuff you did in the past, they people kind of let a lot of stuff go when you younger. But I think Lil Reese is like 30 now. You know what I mean? Lil Dirk, you know, 30. Like, I think Chief Keith probably like 27. So they tell you something. He started when he was 16. Oh, he 28. You know what I mean? People are grown. So Lil Reese and... Lil Reese thinking he got to do some Lil Reese stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of these people, a lot of these folks, they had so much of a fun time when they was younger. This is like an old high school frat party or uh, your daddy, he was in a sorority or he was on a football team. A lot of these people want to go back and relive their glory days because they was the best times of their life. And I understand that. You know what I mean? This is like me. I go watch a old movie, you know what I mean? Like, even though I know about Disney and all that, I still got a certain type of feeling when I watch movies back in the day, like Toy Story and Lion King, I still go revisit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to take their time machine back and go revisit they old school or they old, you know what I mean? People, you know what I mean? Visit they people, but some people, they like to go revisit their old ways because it makes them feel some type of way, you know what I mean? So we gotta get out of that mindset when it comes to detrimental time traveling, you know what I mean? And a lot of these people are expecting, you gotta realize, man, a lot of these people on the internet will never grow up, you know what I mean? A lot of these people are little kids, a lot of people are grown adults who never grow up. So if a lot of people are not transitioning mentally online, they're gonna want you to not uh, transition online either. You know what I mean? They gonna either say, ah, oh, he getting soft. He doing this. You know what I'm saying? Saying you was a bully or you was a hitter or whatever they, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they call you a driller or you was a rapper who talked about violence. People are, are have that image printed in their head. So like I said, when you try to grow, a lot of people are not gonna be receptive to that. But some people are, you know what I mean? So you might have to start your fan base over from the 20% who actually care about you. And then more people are going to flock, you know what I mean? That's on their vibration. You are no longer on their vibration. A lot of people are trying to stay on the same vibration because they feel like their fan base will leave or their girlfriend will leave or their husband will leave, which is probably true, you know what I mean? But you shouldn't try to hold on to what's going to end up hurting you in the end, you know what I mean? Because... 
the longer you longer you fake it, the more miserable you're going to be. You know what I mean? If you know you done outgrew uh, getting drunk and going to the club with your girlfriends, don't be trying to go get drunk with your girlfriends to satisfy that lifestyle because you're going to be fucking your live up. You know what I mean? Whole time, they they still in their frequency. You know what I mean? That you done got out of, but you still trying to, oh, I guess I'll do it with them this one time, then it turns two times and a few times. You know what I mean? Once you start to grow and people don't want to grow with you, you got to say your goodbyes. You know what I mean? You still can talk to them on the phone. You still can vent to them. They still can vent to you. But as far as taking partaking in the activities that you used to partake in, if it's not you no more, let it not be you. Let it not be you. you know what I mean? Don't carry your lifestyle on and d diminish your health because you're just going to be unhappy. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of people stay in relationships because they don't want to let go of the feeling they used to feel. You know what I mean? They don't want to uh, look on the other. They don't want to walk through their door to see what could be better for them because they looking from a fear standpoint. They looking like, what if I don't meet nobody? What if I don't? You know what I mean? You can't think like that. You're always going to meet somebody as you raise your vibration, different people. And you're always going to meet people as you lower your vibration. That's just how it is. You may be with somebody who's on a high vibration and you lower yours. Now this person that left you because you're not putting up the same shots you used to put up with them. You know what I mean? So now you want to find somebody. You want to check somebody who ain't putting up as many shots as you. And if you start, you know what I'm saying, working on your game and start putting up more shots, you're going to run into more people putting up more shots. You know what I mean? That's all it's about, man. It's all it's about growth and stop trying to live your younger years. You know what I mean? We all can stay younger in the mindset and stay younger with doing different things. You know what I mean? It's okay if you're young or if you're in your mid-30s or 40s and you feel like the club ain't for you no more, but you want to go cycling. But you think people going to laugh at you because you caring about your health. Go get you a bike and get on that trail and pedal your ass off. Pedal like the wind. <laughs> now just bullshit, but for real, man. Just keep on like elevate, man. Don't stop your elevation for nobody. That's why ninety percent of people won't elevate because people are not elevating with them, and they feel like they got need a partner. Everybody, even when I was going to the gym, I see people on Facebook. I won't go to the gym, but I need an accountability partner. You be your accountability partner until you know what I'm saying. You, I know a lot of people need motivation, but it's plenty of motivation on YouTube. I feel like I give y'all a lot of motivation, you know what I mean? So, like, motivate yourself because a lot of people don't have that determination that you're seeking or that you have in you that's that's coming alive, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I hope I help somebody with this video, man. Progress, 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 keep on elevating. You don't need an accountability partner. You know what I mean? Let me or anybody else be your accountability partner. Find some accountability partners. You ain't even gotta be in the same city, city, you no know, state. Find them in people comments like mine or Instagram people like on Instagram like you know what I'm saying? It's plenty of folks who will do that in another state because they don't have it in their state. You know what I mean? If you really like, you know what I'm saying, must have that. You know what I mean? So Hope I helped y'all with this video. This is what I feel like it's about. I know people like, you rambling, he didn't really talk about, you know what I mean? Lil Reese situation, I really did, you know what I mean? Cause like I said, I feel like a, I feel like a lot of that situation happened cause he's not elevating the way he should be because of his past, you know what I mean? A lot of people, like I said, be around, it's like being around Muhammad Ali or Floyd Mayweather. Even though this man probably re retired 10 years ago, People going to primarily be asking them about boxing when they run into Floyd. They're not going to ask them about nothing else. They're going to ask them about boxing or either money. That's what they know Floyd for. Money team. Floyd Money Mayweather. You know what I mean? So, a lot of people going like not going to be receptive to your growth and not receptive to how they want you to be. But it's just day to day life. You ain't got to be no celebrity to watch car. You know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff we didn't did, I didn't did, that people still looking for us to do. But we've moved on and we've elevated, you know what I mean? There's no love lost, but like I said, we're not going to keep on hurting our energy and causing sickness in our body just because you expect me to still be the old me. You know what I mean? No, evolution is what's taking place over here. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. 
If y'all like it, man, like like uh, hit the like button. If y'all want to share, share. You know what I mean. But y'all be listening, walking that smoke.